What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, and as my wife and daughter bicker upstairs, I'm jumping on here to tell you guys about the beautiful world of the 8mm video I've suddenly fallen in love with. I absolutely cannot get over this stuff. I'm definitely starting out here, and uh, I got a whole bunch of 8mm film that I'm going to be trying to digitize and put online. I got two units. This one over here I can actually use to rewind. The other unit won't rewind, but I can get this one to rewind. And uh, yeah, I'm going through a whole bunch of stuff that I uh, was given by my old man. And seeing if I can digitize, I've got a lot to work with. But man, I, I just I just love this stuff, I gotta say. So a lot of people have definitely left behind the 8mm camera because, uh, well, it definitely has a lot of issues. Uh, takes a lot of time, needs to be rewound, needs a lot of upkeep. The bulbs will only last so long. Unfortunately, because of that, I'm finding uh, less and less of them out there. Actually, I didn't, I'm not even sure how many I've seen before because I was never actually looking for them. You see, uh, I bought a lot to flip from a guy who was moving out and in that lot was some eight millimeter film. I found out found out, well, oh, this is gonna actually make me some money. So I thought, you know what, I'll see I'll see what it takes to actually get a picture of what's going on. I had to get a picture of what was on the eight millimeter film. So that's why I got these two units. This is the basement where I do all my recording by the way. And uh yeah. And uh, so I, I got some cameras. This is a Super Eight camera that I got. I got some cameras so that I could transfer this stuff and uh it's beautiful. It is honestly, it's a lot of fun. It seems like the 8mm stuff is basically lost in time and space. A lot of stuff from back then that you can't get back. A lot of stuff from then. Wait, there, there's been a lot recorded that if we don't transfer, it just it kind of feels to me like we're gonna we're gonna lose it. But anyways, the super super 8 camera here. It's got this one for seven bucks, and uh, it turns out that it needs an elastic. Man, I don't see why they even keep the sides on these things because. The well, Super 8 is supposed to be an automatic loading, but if the loading doesn't go to plan, then everything will break. Yeah, that's the O-ring, the belt. Really, what's the difference between uh, a belt and an O-ring uh, if they look like that? So I literally, on my wife's suggestion, I literally use elastic bands, and that seemed to get me going well enough. I still think it kind of plays a little bit slowly, but uh, I've actually managed to get this to work. So the difference between 8mm and Super 8 is uh, the different sizes of dots and different alignment along the side of the film. So it looks like I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit here. Let me take you back to the 8mm and the kind of things I was uh, finding. Alright, so this is the setup that I started off with. My first uh, 8mm, and that's my daughter, Aggies, and we're down in the basement chilling out and seeing what we got man these uh this old standard eight mil you get a lot of old stuff a lot of silent films you can't get any audio off the regular eight mil definitely a lot of old films definitely a lot of really crazy racy things you see and man i tell you having a three-year-old around this stuff just ain't the best idea let me tell you but yeah, awesome old stuff. Let me show you some of the more risque things that I'm talking about here. Also, here's a clip of my friend's hot mom kicking people out of the parking lot at work. Oh man, she's hot. She's a grandma and she's hot. That's something else. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so uh, much more recently I actually managed to get a Super 8 projector. Unfortunately, I didn't have a band for this one, so as I said before, I just use elastic bands. It doesn't give me the best picture, but it gives me an okay picture. One of the first things that I checked out was this strange, maybe it's a test clip? What the heck is going on with this monkey? I don't understand. So. I was just starting to mess around. This is one of the first things I checked out, but uh, yeah, yeah. When it comes to Super 8, you get uh, you tend to get a lot more personal video. And here's some here's some guy taking his uh, taking his kid about to give him a DDT. Clearly, I could just totally ready for a DDT right about now. I can't get it up to the speed it's supposed to. be. Yeah, me. It has something to do with the belt. Maybe the motor's worn out. But uh, yeah, a lot of cool stuff. All right, now we got some crazy ninja stuff going on. Hiya! Take that. Yep, good stuff. Good stuff. Anyways, I'm just starting out with this stuff, and uh, this is what I've run across. If I run across anything else that's crazy or whatnot, I'll uh, let you guys know. 
That's it for me. Nefrim Nefs Tech. If it's like and subscribe, like the stuff, always appreciate it, guys, and uh, have a good one.